Hi and Assalamualaikum and good afternoon to Madam and to class. So my name is Muhammad Shafiq bin Zukri. My matrix number is I one eight one zero two eight four six and my partner is my partner is Nur Shahira binti Azman. Her matrix number is I one eight one zero two eight four seven. We going to present the chapter eight external selections one. Introduction. So, external selections refers to the assessment and evaluation of external job applicants, and a variety of different assessment methods can be used. So, there is two methods. The first one is external selection methods, preliminary issues, the logic of prediction. The nature of predictors, developments of the selection plan and selection sequences. And the second method is initial assessment methods. It has resume, resume and calculator, application blanks, biographical information, reference and background check, handwriting analysis, literacy, literacy testing, Genetic screening, initial interview, and choice of initial assessment methods. Okay, we go to the next slide. The preliminary issues. Selection is equated with one event, namely and the interview. Second, selection is a process rather than an event. For best possible match. To be achieved, a series of well thought out logical activities for actual implement implementation of the logic prediction requires that predictor must be chosen through development of a selection plan. And the last one is implementation requires creation creation of selection sequences, which is an orderly flow of people. Through the stage of applicants, candidate, finalist, and offer receive. Okay, we go to the next slide. The nature of predictors. <coughs> okay, there are different type of predict predictor used in external selections, ranging from interview to genetic screening. They all differ from one another in terms of content and form and everything which is inside something like information, experience and KSAOS. This is the object which is being assessed with a predictor, varies considerably and may range from a sign to a sample to a criterion. A sign is a predisposition to a person who is taught to relate to performance on the job. Let's go with the next slide. The forms, the form or design of the predictor may vary along several different lines. Speed versus power. Speed. A person score on some predictors is based on the number of responses complete within a certain time frame. Power. A power test, on the other hand, present individuals with the items of increasing difficulty so the speed is based on physical test and the power is based on uh, thinking test like this and the next one is paper and pencil versus performance Paper and pencil applicants are required to fill out a form where an answer or complete multiple choice items. Frequently used when psychological abilities are required to perform the job performance test. The applicant is asked to manipulate an object or equipment. Used when physical and social skills are required to perform the job. The next one is objective versus essay. Objective and uh, an objective paper and pencil predictor is one in which multiple choice question or 
true and false question are used. This test should be used to measure specific knowledge in a specific area. They say a written answer. A written answer is required of the respondent. They say are the best used to assess written communication, problem solving, and analyt analytical skills. The next one is oral versus writing versus computer. Responses to predicted question can be spoken, written, and and later into it. Enter into the computer. As with all predictors, the appropriate form depend on the nature of the job. If the job requires a high skill of verbal skill, then oral response should be solicited. If the job requires a high, a large amount of writing, then written responses should be required. If the job requires constant interaction with the computer, then applicants should enter their response into the computer. Development of the selection plan Purpose to translate the result of a job analysis into the actual predictors to be used for selection A selection plan must be developed and the use A selection plan describes which predictors will be used to assess the KSA, KSAO requires to perform the job Method for developing plan First, listing of KSAO, KSAO in written in the left column Second, for each KSAO, a yes or a yes or no is written to show whether is KSAO needs to be assessed in selection process. Third, possible methods of assessment are listed for the required KSAO and the specific method to be used for each this for each of these KSAO KSAO is in there is then indicated. So the next slide is selection sequence. A series of decisions is made about job applicants before they are selected. The first decision that reach with the initial applicant who have applied for the job become candidate or are rejected. The second decision made is which candidate become finalist. Third decision is made from finalists receive the actual job offer. And finally the offer receiver become new hire when they decide to join the organizations. So let's continue with the initial assessment methods. These methods are also referred to as pre-employment pre inquiries and used to minimize the cost associated with substantive assessment methods by reducing the number of people assessed. Predictors typically used to screen candidates from applicants include resume and cover letters, application blanks, biography information, reference and background checks, initial interview and choice of initial assessment method. Okay, let's go with the resumes uh, and cover letters. Um, the first introduction of the applications to the organization is resume and cover letter. This introduction is controlled by the applicants as to the amount, type and accuracy of information provided. Need Needed to be verified with other predictors, such as application blanks, to ensure the data is accurate and complete. It is a very, it is very difficult for many organizations to store resume for any extended period of time and reach them accurately. But now the computer has resolved this problem with resume tracking software. So the context is information provided is controlled by applicant. Information need to be to be verified by other predictors to ensure accuracy and completeness. Major issue less the major issue is large number large number received by organization, falsification and misrepresentation of information, lack of research research exists related to validity or reliability cost and adverse impact let's go with the application blanks so the overview overview is areas cover education e educa educational experience training and job experience the key advantage is organization detects information provided major issues information requested should be critical to job success and reflects ksao relevant to job application blanks 
education requirement, level of education, GPA, quality of school, extracurricular activities, major field of study, training and experience requirement, licensing, certification and job knowledge. We continue with the biographical information. Biographical information is a personal story information of applicant's background and interest. Best predictor of future behavior is past behavior. So let's compare by data with background checks. Background checks examine, examine and application applicant's background. Conduct through record check and conversation with reference. By data used to predict future performance, information is collected by survey. The issue generalized ability is high, although, although predictive validity exists, it is not clear what this event is. Access falsification can be a big problem. Okay. The next one is reference and background checks. So, reference is approach involved verifying applicants' background via contact with prior immediate supervisor, HR department of current or previous companies. Roughly 8 of 10 companies conduct reference checks. The problem is in inability to listen more qualified from less qualified applicants, lack of standardization, reluctance of company to provide requested information due to legal concerns. The methods involve assessing real reliability of applicants' behavior, integrity and personal adjustment, type of information requested, criminal history, credit information, educa educational history, employment verifications, regulation history and workers' confessions. The key issues is limited validity evidence legal concern on pre-employment requires okay the next slide is initial interviews the characteristic for initial interview is begins with process of necessary differentiations purpose screen out most obvious case of person or job mismatch limitation most expensive methods of initial assessment video and computer interviews offer and cost savings and videos based interviews link the applicants and recruiter via remote video access advantage they can dramatically lower the cost of initial interviews the disadvantage is they do not permit face to face contact and another one is computer based interviews utilize software that ask applicants some questions Presents realist, real, realistic scenarios. It can even track how long it takes an applicant to answer each question. Okay, for the evaluation of initial interview, uh, they must minimal the evidence exists regarding usefulness. And second, they must guide guideline to enhance usefulness and ask question assessing most basic. KSAOS. Uh, they must stick to the basic and fundamental questions suitable for making rough cuts rather than subjective question, and keep interview brief. And lastly, ask same question of all applicants. Okay, for the next slide, we have the choice of initial assessment method, which is uh, this method are available to organization to help reduce the applicant pool to bona fide candidates uh, and then we have a few choices which is the first one is use uh, use refer to how frequently the survey organization use each uh, predictor and second is cost which is uh, it's referred to expenses incur, incur in using the predictor and the uh, Third one is reliability, which is it's referred to consistency uh, of measurement. And then uh, we have the validity, which is it uh, referred to the 
strength of the relationship between the predator and job performance and that's why we have the utility utility refer to the monetary uh, monetary return associated with uh, using the predator and relative to its costs and next we have the application reaction which is a refer to uh, how favorable favorably individual feel about given selection practice and we have the last one which is adverse impact which is it uh, refer to the possibility that a disproportionate number of protected uh, it means the class member may be rejected using a predator in choice of initial assessment method also have the education level GPA quality of school major field extra extracurricular activities training and experience licensing and certification biodata letter of recommendations background checks resume a cover letter initial interview and genetic screening uh, we have the legal issues and there are few legal issues which is uh, the first one is disclaimers uh, disclaimers is for organization clearly identify right it wants to maintain and there are three areas of rights are uh, usually suggested for possible inclusion on a disclaimer policy the first one is employment at will which is uh, right to terminate the employment relationship at any time for any reason and the second one is verification consent uh, it means right to verify information provided by the applicant and the last one is false statement warning false statement warning is right to not hire to minute or discipline prospective employee for providing false information to the employer and next illegal issue we have the reference checks uh, reference check refer to a recruiting progress method used by hiring managers or recruiters to get more information about a candidate by contacting his or her previous employees school and etc the next legal issues is social media screening. The scope of social media and network is broad. Social media and networks include social and professional networking sites, which is uh, Facebook, Twitter, personal internet accounts, photos, video clips, resume, blogs, podcast, text message, email, and website profile. Okay, if social media to be used for selection, what safeguard could be implemented? Uh, the first one is uh, get applicants' consent to search for med social media information. And second is decide for which specific position social media info information will be sought and used and why. The third is uh, gather and evaluate only job related, uh, which is uh, and KSAO information for this specific position and fourth is gather information late in the process and only for finalists uh, it could also be gathered post job offers as part of a formal background check and the next is be consistent and standardize the process uh, get the same information is applicants at same stage in selection progress and they have to focus only on information posted by the applicant not by others and uh, they also allow on, have to allow only HR professional or others train people to gather the and evaluate the information and the next one is document hiring deci decisions especially rejection uh, be sure that to include what information was evaluated in the selection progress and social media information use 
and keep writing record of all documentation and the last uh, the last one is follow all laws including the fair credit reporting act and ensure that any third party vendor used to conduct a social media search follow all laws Okay, for the next legal issue is uh, background checks, which is credit and criminal. For the credit check, uh, credit check is coming under heightened legal scrutiny and regulations. Uh, reason for this include is for the first one is for credit report error. Uh, second, uh, for blanket uses of hiring bars for applicants with credit problem regardless of type of job and job requirements and third is lack of evidence supporting credit check as a valid predictor of job performance or theft and embezzlement and the last one is possible adver adverse impact especially against minorities uh, background uh, credit check also uh, means a record of a person's credit to debt ratio and shows how someone has managed credit and bill payments in the past. Also called a credit report. Uh, it's a standard requirement when applying for a car or home loan uh, which is credit card or any other type of loan. The next one is criminal check. Uh, criminal background check are generally an attempt to hit off potential problems of workplace, uh, violence, theft, fraud, and negligence hiring. Uh, the collection and use of criminal history is uh, arrest, arrest, and conviction, uh, which is information is governed by numerous laws. And regulations, uh, and the need of this protection is the result of several factors, uh, which is the first one is disparate treatment and impact against minorities, uh, especially African Americans and Hispanics, uh, in screening decision based on the information. And second is uh, the questionable relevance and validity of criminal information for many jobs and the third one is use of blanket no failings hiring practice and the last one is the inaccuracy of criminal history information in database and elsewhere the next legal issue is pre-employment inquiries which is it referred to applicants personal and background data this Data covers such as demographic, which is uh, race, colors, religion, sex, national, origin, and age. It also covers the physical characteristic, which is dis disability, height, and weight. Uh, it also covers the family and associate residence, economic status, and education. Okay, there are the laws and regulations surrounding the use of uh, the pre-employment inquiries which is the first one is federal laws and regulations and second is EEOC guide to pre-employment inquiries and third is American with disabilities at regulation and the last one is state laws and regulation Okay, next we have the bona fide occupational qualification. Uh, this is the Title 7 of the Civil Rights Act explicitly permits di discrimination on the basis of set religion or national origin, but not race or colors. If it can be shown to be a BF or Q, reasonably necessary to the normal operation of the business. BFOQ defense requires an employer to show that a particular skill is necessary for the performance of particular job. And the 
be FOQ used in cases of disparate treatment in discrimination. Okay, next I will explain about the literature review and this research focus on changing employees' attitude toward their entry form which is external requirement and internal requirement. So, by comparing job engagement and organizational dedication among internally promote workers and external hire personnel, uh, it focuses on the people's side which is their affiliation with organization and passion for their jobs. The researcher found this employee attitudinal job result to be significant predictor of organizational success and thus assess them. The study focused on Pakistan telecommunication industry which include five firms which is Zong, Telenor, Euphone, Wari and Mobilink. A sample of 90 executive uh, major uh, employees was taken which is externally hired and internally promoted at same level. So the data was gathered using a questionnaire, some using a Likert scale and analyzed in SPSS. Uh, with regard to the type of recruitment source, there was no substantial difference in organizational engagement and employee job partic participation. Uh, so practical and theoretical implementations of the research work are explored as well as the groundwork for future research. So in the conclusion, uh, we can include that the process requirement and selection has all the way become more difficult since the organization want to hire more talented and effective employees and can create a difference in the interest of the organization. The organization have adopted different method of recruiting a candidate according to external and internal selections. Uh, external selection is more to when employers look to fill the vacancy from any suitable applicants outside the company. Employers also use external recruitment to attract individuals with the necessary skill sets, uh, especially when seeking to grow the business or take it in uh, a different di direction. So job seekers who are not currently employed with their business are hired. Uh, businesses can use a recruiter's specialized skill and large candidate pool to make finding external applicants easier. That's all for me and thank you.